once you've created your character drawing uh, and you've taken a photo of it or you've used scan software or scan app or maybe actually a scanner to turn it into an image, you can use photopia.com to go ahead and turn that into a Photoshop file, which is what you need to do to submit it. So open photopia.com and choose open from computer. Navigate to your project folder for your character. Now in here you can see I've got the two sample files, but I've also got some images that I took of my characters. Uh, so, or the different drawings I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one, which is my head to toe shot. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. So here you can see it was shot on a piece of paper. I had some shadow from my phone in here. There's a wrinkle in the paper, but I've got the basic drawing. And of course you can see my drawing's not necessarily the best, but that's okay. This is gonna be an example for you. All right, so here we are in Photopea. Notice that there is a single layer. So this is a layered drawing program and we have a single layer here. So the first thing I want to do is use two fingers on my touchpad on the Chromebook. And let's see if I can do this here. There, I click on where it says background, and now I'm single click where it says duplicate the layer. Now that I'm in that background uh, copy layer, I'm going to double click where it says background, and I'm going to type the name of my character. This one is named Jim. All right, so I, I kept a separate layer just so I have the original drawing in the background just in case I made any errors. But I'm going to go ahead and use this eyeball right now and turn that off. Okay, so now with the gym layer selected, I need to get rid of everything that is not part of my character. So one way to do that is to go over to these tools and select the magic wand. Now if I use two fingers and click on it, it'll show me there's different versions of it. The version I want is the magic wand, not the quick selection or the object selection. So if I press W, I'd go to magic wand, but I want to make sure it's that. So there it is. Now the magic wand will let me click on the background and select things that are similar colors. So up here, I've got the tolerance. That means how close are the colors. I've got anti-aliasing on, which means that it will be uh, kind of smooth things out. Uh, feathering it will make it kind of smooth things out too. But let's see what happens with a 25 tolerance if I click in it. Oh, I've already clicked in it. You can see there's these little dotted lines that indicate which area has been selected. Now it's hard to tell now, but if I go to the edit menu and choose cut, it will cut that out. And notice now I see a checkerboard pattern in the back. Since I've turned off that background layer, I don't see it. What I do see is where the transparency is, and that's what the checkerboard indicates. All right, I'm gonna use that wand tool and click in a different area. So now I've selected a different part, and I can use a keyboard shortcut, Control X, to delete what's there. So each time I select, and I wanna basically get rid of everything that's closest to my character. And let me go ahead and just click in the middle here between the legs, and Control X and turn that off and submit it. Now, if I've got large areas and I don't want to use the wand because it doesn't do it, I can go up here to this uh, rectangle select tool. And again, if I want to see the different shapes, I'd use two fingers on the touchpad and click on it. I don't want an ellipse. I'm just going to go to a rectangle. And now I can click and drag a rectangle and then use control X to delete uh, the portions that I've grabbed. Now, I was lucky, my drawing was pretty clean, but let's say I wanna clean up the area right here by the face where it didn't look that good. So I need to zoom in. So if I go to the view menu, I can use zoom in to zoom in, or I could just hold the control and the plus keys on my keyboard. So let's see if I do this, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this hand tool so I can kind of move the image up and down. So now with my keyboard control and plus, I can zoom in and then use the hand to get a little bit closer. So you can see I've got some rough edges here. So maybe I want to clean this up. So I'm going to use, make sure I go to the select menu and make sure nothing is selected. If it was selected, I could click on deselect. But since nothing's selected, now I can go over here to the eraser tool. And again, there's two types of erasers. I can double, uh, one's the eraser tool and one's the background. I want to just choose the eraser tool. And now, it's kind of small, so I'm going to go up here to the size and just increase it a bit. 
And I'm going to make it have a little bit softer edge. So I'll go down to about 50% here, a little bit less. And now when I click, you can see I can kind of clean up the edges. So, uh, you know, maybe that will just help clean up my character. Now, when I'm all done and my character is just the way that I want it to be, Oh, by the way, I could I could even use this to color in some areas. See how it's not that smooth there? So I'm going to use this eyedropper tool and pick the character. I'm sorry, pick the color. See down here how it changed? Let me just go back and show you if I pick another one. So the eyedropper, I click here, and it changes my foreground color. Now I can go to the brush. And let's see how big the brush is. Okay, so that's the brush. Well, you know what? I don't want that color after all. I want to go back to the... Uh, the face and use the same color and now I can use the brush and I could go in here and clean up stuff and again I, boy, I got a little tiny brush here maybe I need to go with a bigger brush uh, but anyway you can play around so you can colorize after you brought your drawing in uh, it just depends on how how much work it's gonna be to go ahead and colorize it so basically when you're all done you do need a drawing that, uh, let me just zoom this all the way out again. So I'll go to the view menu here and choose uh, fit the area. That would be control O. So here's my whole character. I've got two layers. The background's turned off. I see the foreground. I have all the transparency. That's what you need of each of the two drawings that you created for your character. One's the head to toe shot and one's that waist shot. So when you're done, go to the file menu and choose Save as PSD. This is the Photoshop file version that will save the layers. Return to your character folder and then give it a name. And so I'm going to say this one's going to be Jim uh, Full Shot. And then save it. And then I'll want to do the same thing for my waist shot version where they're looking right at the camera. So that's the process for creating a Photoshop version of your image that you drew. Of course, you do need to have scanned it. There are scan apps out there for phones or if you have an actual scanner hooked up to your computer. But you do need to get those images, the original images, into your folder so that you can go ahead and use Photopea to turn it into a layered Photoshop file that has transparency.